Hello, today I want to show you how I built my safe inside my van and where you can find a cheap safe. Hi Julian, this is now a documentary on how you put a safe into a camper van and we will start very shortly. Our stranger is now putting in a safe. This is the safe, the cheapest safe I could find. How much was it? So it was $99. For all you happy campers out there, if you want to keep your valuable safe, this is how you do it. Whoever is going to open that one. Good luck to them. You'll be fine. It's recording again. <laughs> don't make it safe. So if you don't have a knife, always use a key. <laughs> I just don't get it why it's so, so different. You should use that one as just a key. Yeah. I bought the screws because the screws, what they, what they afford, were for concrete. So I bought some for wood. A couple of washers. Yeah, because I thought that might make it even stronger. Where are you gonna put? Oh yes, it will. If you put the washers on the inside. Yeah, yeah, I will. Are you gonna cut the carpet out? Nah. <laughs> no. So what I was thinking of. Let me open it. Because I think there's no batteries inside, so that's why it's not working. That's why you need a key. That's why I need a key. Thousands. Maybe that might be small enough. And don't lose the cover. <laughs> and don't leave the keys next to the safe. Let's see if it will fit in. I was measuring so exactly. Ah, <laughs> Let's see if it fits. Ah, shit. It, it, it just no. fits. Ah, it fits. Right. No, that's because it's just laying on here then. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you might need to take a carpet out. But I think you always want to keep it. You can't put it in there, you can't open it. Yeah, yeah, no. I would think here's the best place. Yeah. And in the end, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I just put something underneath so it'll be up like one centimeter. That's fine. Well, we can carve a section up there. Yeah, something like this, let's see. Is that the signal spot you put the key in? It looks like there's a battery in there. Oh, there you go. Whoa, there you go. Is that big enough to put all your stuff on? At least all the expensive stuff. No, you can put it there or there. Oh, the hole's there. Oh, yes, there is. That's the main reason why I bought it. I think. The top is fixed to somewhere underneath, so if if somebody is able to, I mean, you can't even you can't even really grab it. Do you want to take it out for good? No, I want this to be. Do you want to put that back in? So we are back online. When you do a pre-drill, you need to make sure you don't drill further than the screw. It will be short enough. I trust in you, man. And as you can see, it's the drill. Yeah, okay. It'll be short enough. Needs to, the screw needs to be longer than what the tape is. I don't want to cut the carpet. Way funnier if you have all. All these things. Make sure this is the right screwdriver for it. Yep. So I have two screws. You have one. Where's the fourth? It's down there. Ah yes, <laughs> that's the one you dropped. <laughs> it's good to have something and not need it. They need something and not have it. Let's see if I can lift it. I can lift it. <laughs> no, no, it's... it's, oh, it's I lift the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it might be hard to get it out because if you can't... You can't grab. You can't grab from the inside. So. That would be really hard. I think it should be safe. So, that's basically it. 
So, according to the instructions, Master Sergeant Terry says they go there, and then we need to look how it works. But yeah, you can see screws are in, and yeah, that's mainly it. So now, now it's safe. So valuables should be safe as well. They are just not safe in a case of fire, but I have fire and theft insurance. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and of course hit like and subscribe. Thank you!